All right, what's going on guys? So I'm gonna wrap the rear quarter panel on this Audi A4 S line. There's something very unique about this car. This car doesn't have your typical brake in the lower rocker panel, okay? So most cars, they have a separate plastic piece for a lower rocker panel. Most cars nowadays, not all. So, I mean, every car in here, including the minivan, has a separate piece. So, uh, there you have two BMWs, uh, Mercedes, a Maybach right behind you, and then this Audi. And everything else in here has a separate piece. So, it makes this one a little bit more unique. Now, this one had a trim piece on the bottom, and I've removed that. It's much, much, much easier to remove that piece uh, if you do end up tackling something similar to this if it has a trim piece on it. If it, doesn't have, if it has a trim piece that's not removable, then you're going to have to work your way around it, around it. Unfortunately, this one is removable. So you can see that I've done a heck of a lot of masking. Uh, the reason why I've done so much masking is because I'm going to be leaving the doors closed and cutting it and then opening the doors afterwards and then folding everything in. Uh, this is going to make for a much uh, straighter line on the inside and, and I don't have to put a knifeless tape on the inside. I can actually cut a very straight line across the masking tape and then just fold that in really nicely. Uh, I, have knifeless, I do have knifeless tape set up in a, in a couple of places. So one being the roof because the roof does not have a drip sealed trim. So it is completely one piece all the way through to the other side. So we, we're, I don't know if we're doing the roof in uh, gloss blacks. I think we're doing the roof in gloss black. Sorry. And then uh, on top of that, I have knifeless tape in this section up here, all the way across underneath. So I don't have to cut on the paint. Very important. And you can see I have another section right here. That's so I can wrap inside to the jams a little bit. This way we have full coverage from the exterior. As far as quarter panels go, the hardest part is just doing this all in one piece. If you're new at this, could you seam it? Yeah, if you're going to seam it, you're going to put it pretty low. So you're, if you're going to seam it, you're going to put your piece on the bottom first, and then you're going to do your top piece. After, afterwards, this way it faces down. Uh, for the roof, it doesn't really matter. I have a really nice recess in here, so it doesn't really matter which way it's going to go. It can go gloss black roof first, or blue roof first, or whatever, doesn't matter, uh, because it has this nice little recess right here. It's gonna hide that edge of the vinyl very well. Plus, on top of that, the gloss blue that I'm using today, which is Avery. Again, all the tools and everything, including the vinyl, you can find it in the description below. Uh, but yes, I'm using Avery, and it has a clear adhesive, so when you do seam that, it does seam together very nicely, uh, so the overlap isn't very visible. Now, I have the hood up because it's gonna allow me to actually tuck in much further, okay? That's a bonus. On top of that, for the front door here, I have it masked off because this is a fun little door and it has a little trim piece that sticks out. It sticks out in the front. Anyways, we'll do that when we do the door video. Uh, all right, everything else is masked off. Rear window, trunk, bumper, quarter window here. That's it. Now, let me just take my phone out of my pocket. Sorry, one second. Let's open up a whole bunch of stuff with my myself. All right, so I have some. Wow, looks like I missed some alcohol there. Okay. Anyways, we're not doing the door right now. We're doing the quarter panel. So again, quarter panel. The car's not perfect. It's been driven. It's got a few marks here and there. There's a little stone chip right there. A little guy right there. How stone chips got there? I have no idea. But again, I can't tell you. Anyways, don't kill yourself when it comes to uh, making sure that the car is completely free of imperfections because the paint itself isn't free of imperfections, so don't drive yourself nuts when you have, when you have one here or there. So we're going to lay this out. We're going to pull out this whole piece. Uh, what I have to do is I have to pull it past the front of the lower side skirt or lower rocker panel. I have to at least pull it that long. So it makes, it makes our vinyl piece a little bit larger than normal. I'm gonna make sure that I come around the back here slightly. What I can do is I can, I can leave the excess film from the back and then shift it all forward if I want to. But again, I'm not doing it that way. I'm gonna do it this way. Your magnets are gonna be very handy. Okay, you're gonna need them, they're your extra hands. 
going to stick magnets as I go along. Now I've done a live video for the hood wrap, which I'll put up in the corner there for you if you're interested in having a look. Cool, I'm almost there. Yeah, so it makes it a little bit larger. No big deal. Just double checking my cut. Perfect. Let's get the roll out of the way. I don't need that right now. Let's even it out, all right? So right now, I need it to come higher for sure because it's not covering the top of the pillar. So let's get that up there. What I normally do is I'll stick a magnet one there. Let's get rid of these because it's getting a little bit twisted. All right, one there and one up here on the top, on the back side of the roof. For here, it's getting a little bit bunched up because, uh, simply because the, uh, the hood's kind of bulging it out. No big deal. Let's stick one there. So now you can see it's starting to get flat and starting to take the shape of the car. Very important. So top to bottom, I know that I have plenty, all right? That's going to that's gonna be key, right? So I can actually wrap, know that I can wrap around underneath safely. I've actually got, I've got tons of extra. So I'm actually maybe going to cut, I haven't decided yet, I might just cut a sliver out of here. And then, because I have that trim piece to wrap, right? So I have to consider where I'm going to get that trim piece out of. I, I can cut back into the roll again. I got 20 yards for the car. I didn't get 25 simply because I didn't have 25 in stock. Normally I would have bought 25 and then I wouldn't have to worry at all. This time it's cutting it a little bit close, not a big deal. Um, so yes, I will try to cut out my, uh, my piece for the actual trim piece that has to go back on the side skirt there, the lower rocker panel. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut out the doors, all right? The doors, if you notice, are not framed, all right? So they are framed, but they're not painted framed. So they're just chrome trim and a little bit of gloss black and stuff like that. So we can actually cut this vinyl a little bit higher and then drop the doors down. I want to make sure that I cut a little bit higher up on the bottom because I want to make sure that I have coverage on that side skirt piece, right? Very important. So where is that? There's the door right there. And double check, make sure the door is right there. Even check behind it. Amazing, door's right here. So I'm gonna cut a couple of inches higher than the door, right? This means then my, my cut is actually gonna go into the door and then I might not have enough for the door. Again, I would rather not have enough for a door than not have enough to actually wrap this entire quarter panel in one piece because it's gonna, it's gonna kick my butt out of like 12 to, 12 to 14 feet of film, right? So we don't wanna lose that. Again, where's the door? So somewhere around there, there's the window, okay. So. It's not very obvious to you guys. I can see a slight indentation. It's not the best. What I should mark it, what I should do is mark it with a, with like a pen or something. So I want to anchor the bottom here. And then I'm going to start cutting above that line. Again, if I screw this up, I'm not too worried because it's just going to ruin my door piece and I can cut back into the roll, it's a lot shorter for the door piece. So I'm just using my finger on the bottom here to show me where that line is. Give myself a few inches. As soon as I get up to about here, it won't really matter anymore. So I can come start coming in a little bit closer to the door and the quarter panel itself but it's mainly the bottom piece because I won't be able to swivel the bottom piece up and down, right? A lot, that'd be difficult. But as soon as this bend starts to happen, I can actually start coming in and make my cut a little bit more precise. I'm always double checking.
blade got stuck a little bit. All right, we're getting somewhere now. So it's a little bit flimsy. Let's take this, stick that there. There's my door still. Perfect. So, remember what I said about that lower trim piece? I'm gonna try and get that right now out of the window. So before I go two nuts here, I'm just gonna go straight up there. I'm gonna anchor this back a little bit, just balance it out. I'm gonna anchor the door. And now we're gonna cut straight across. Hopefully leaving me enough for the doors. And so once it starts to bend, we can actually come more straight across. I'm gonna hold it up. Perfect. What I can do afterwards, I can take this piece and just simply bend it down. It's not a lot of stretch, it's very, very light. You're gonna see. Uh, and now, let's cut out, let's cut out my piece. So I'm gonna have to drop, I have to drop those panels down first. And then I'm gonna check the length of my piece here. So I have them right here to see if it even fits. If it doesn't fit, then we'll have to cut into the roll. All right, cool. So lengthwise, we're good. I can try, it's very skinny, right? It's not a big piece. I can try and get all this out of one shot. So this is planning ahead when it comes to cutting, right? This is, uh, there's a lot of planning involved when we have extra little bits and stuff like that. So, like I said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop this down and make sure we have coverage for the doors. So I'm just gonna overlap it. There we go. Should I, I should have tons, actually. So there's my door right there. I'm, I'm covering the top, no problem, right? Let's make sure we're covering the bottom. Bottom, it's a little bit close here, so maybe I won't have enough to cut it all out in one shot. I'm trying. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, no big deal. So here, okay, I can bring that down a bit. And then now, I should have plenty. Okay, I have enough. So I'm gonna bring that up a bit. As long as I know that I have enough for the door, I'll make it work, no problem. I'm just gonna be covering the bottom, right? If I have an inch on either end, I can work with that. Uh, there's a GoPro coming, guys. So for those of you who are still watching, uh, I will have, see, I can cut pretty close to that line right there. Uh, I will have GoPro videos coming up. Hopefully, hopefully you're as excited as I am about them. Pretty stoked. Might need more magnets, otherwise I'll just hold on to the piece. Let's just flop it inside the car. Fantastic. That's gonna go in the car. Let me see who's messaging me. So for the doors, I'm gonna take the doors, I'm gonna roll them up and get them out of the way. And we're just gonna work on the quarter panel piece. This tend to be a little bit more of a tricky one. I'm gonna slide this into the car. Awesome. So, as we're looking at it right now, fully covered, right? Amazing. Perfect. I'm happy with that. I don't even really have to move this. I am going to slide it forward just a bit because 
I want to have a bit more here. As long as we're good on the back, oh, we got like four or five inches still. There we go. All right, the fun part, guys. So, all in all, when you're wrapping this quarter panel, it's not actually that hard to wrap the quarter panel. It's very flat. So it's, it's actual technical difficulty is not, it's difficulty technically is not that crazy. Oh yes, and one more thing. I should cut out where the wheel is here, right? Because I don't need all this. So this is just going to cause resistance, right? And it's just going to get in my way. And I don't like stuff that gets in my way. It's hard to find that line. There we go. Every little bit helps to get stuff out of the way. When you're doing this alone, this is how you're going to do it. I'm going to keep that rolling. And it's a little challenging if your your reach, your arm reach isn't that long. I mean, my arm reach. I'm a tall guy, but my arm reach is not the best. My arm span, sorry, my arm span, makes sense. All right, so this is shifted slightly, it's fine. I'm just making sure everything is good. Again, I'm trying to keep it pretty flat. So we're gonna start to get bound up by the magnet. Let's move it down to like here. So, I'm gonna separate these two pieces. One, and then we're gonna get the bottom one out of the way as well. This one's a little more tricky to get my hands on. I don't wanna cut through the vinyl. Cool. Let's get that big old piece out of the way. Now, we're gonna work in sections. This is gonna make your life easier. Glass out this section first. Should have put a magnet on the top, let's do that, because it just fell down. It's not fun when things move like that. Or I'll just anchor it there, it's fine. Good. Good. I want to start locking some of this in. We have to be actually very careful with this recess here. This, this vinyl is probably going to want to pull out of here, all right? So I'm gonna have to, I have to lay into that recess. I'm going to lay in from the bottom and have gravity work with me. So we're just going to define our body line from top to bottom, okay? This, this is not a heavy recess right here, so we're totally okay to lay into it. Um, if you're asking about shield guards, my squeegee still has a ton on it from the, from the previous fender and uh, hood wrap, so I don't need to really add any. to leave the vinyl too long in one position simply because we'll start to get glue lines, right? 
like I said, it will happen with any brand. If there's tension on an edge and it sits there for long enough, it'll start to get a glue line. So I have to lift up from the bottom and then tuck in to the, re to the recess right here. Very, very critical. I had to use my finger there because the door is kind of getting in my way right in that one spot. It's like a, I mean, it's probably at least a 50-50 chance that the vinyl is going to fail in this area. I mean, you can slap primer in there. It's not, it's not my style. It's not how I roll. So I won't, I don't do that. Now, again, we're just going to take it and glass it out. Okay. I'm going to break it down into sections. Section first. section next. Whatever section you want to do first is totally up to you. I just did that one first. Pull again a bit a bit this way. Let's get that little wrinkle out there. There we go. Perfect. We don't want to pull the vinyl out of that recess, so just keep that in mind when you are doing this. The whole idea is to lay into it, right? Let's cut a bunch of this out. Here's my paper. Hold this down. So I'm going to work the top section next. I'll tell you why. So if I'm going to get a glue line, I do not want it to be on the top. I'd rather it be on the bottom. So. I don't want it on the pillar, it'll be ugly. So I'm gonna take care of this section first. Cause like I said, if it sits too long in one spot, then you're gonna get a glue line. So we can watch what I do here as I start to contour the film down. It's really straightforward. So there's gonna be no tension on the edges. The only tension is pulling through here, which means that if it's pulling through there and I put it, my knife was tape just moved. Love that. Uh, if, if, if we get it around the edges and it's pulling in this way, that means we get it around the edge, it starts pulling itself around the edge. So technically, we're not adding any stretch to the edge. We're actually making the vinyl hug the edge even better than it normally would. Because now, it's forcing itself around the edge. As opposed to just kind of sitting there like a free spirit. So let's finish off this. So you can see it's all it's curling itself under, right? It's exactly what you want. Just have to blast that out a little bit. The hood's in my way, but again, it comes out so much nicer with the hood up. So keep the hood up. Now, I can actually cut a bunch of this out. Okay. 
now it's now I'm able to actually lift this rubber and just tuck behind it so easily. All right. Seamless. Cool. Let's do the bottom. Bottom's gonna be a bit more technical because we have those screws sticking out. It's not, it's not that bad though. So don't worry yourself too much. Try and leave the paper on a little bit since I am a bit closer to the floor. It's going to just be like kind of like a safety net. My floor is pretty clean. I mean, it doesn't look clean, but there's no dust on the floor. It's funny, like PPF guys, they have to, they soak the whole floor and the whole area around the car because you get one little speck underneath the wrap and it, show, it shows through on clear film. So a lot of respect for those guys. It's tough, hard work. See my body, you know what my body position, all right? I'm laying down because it's way easier. So relief cut, be careful when you're cutting like this because it's kind of like free floating, you could slip. And now I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do this all the way across, all right? I don't need to pull it that tight in here. I'm just trying to balance everything out. Now, when I see those screws, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So now I can kind of come straight across. The screws are fun. They're, they're like little, the screws they screw into the car and it holds, it's like a placement for the side trim. It's not even, it doesn't even hold it on. I don't even actually know what was holding that side trim on. The two-sided tape was pretty, was pretty sad. They, they, they put two-sided tape on the bottom and top of that trim piece and the top, the bottom wasn't even actually mounted to the car. So if anyone was paying attention, they would have noticed that I've overlapped my side skirt with, <laughs> with my tape. That can't happen because I just wrapped over it and I noticed, not good. Don't want that to happen, right? Okay. So you can see that I'm actually just kind of laying the top. Above the screw. So, the reason being, and you can see it's pretty smooth going up to the screw, right? I don't have, I have a little bit of a kink right here, but I'll just pull up a little bit and that'll go away. Okay, cool. So again, it's not that important how nice it looks around the screw right now. I will, it will look nice even with me, with me saying that, but it's not that important. So you don't have to kill yourself trying to make it that nice around the screw because as soon as we put the piece back on, it's going to, Cover it completely. Remember, wrapping a car is for aesthetics. All right, I'm just trying to reposition it a little bit. Perfect. So this is how we can work around the screw. We're just gonna cut a little hole right around it. Not a big deal. Now, note that I didn't. All right, so I lost you for a minute there, just cutting out these screws. But yes, I was talking about uh, the lower rocker panel being still bumpy. I'm surprised they didn't make them like that. I'm not sure if you guys heard that part or not, but that's what I was talking about when I was talking to the camera all by myself. 
contemplating life, things like that. I didn't do the nicest job around this one, this one screw. Again, this car can't not have that, that trim piece on it, so it has to be there. Otherwise, you're gonna just literally see these screws poking out. Make a hole a little bit bigger. even has these indentations where you're supposed to put the jack little triangle indentations squeeze you into all that stuff make it look good there we go when you're working around something the nicer that you cut around it the easier it is to get the vinyl or like fold the vinyl around it really nicely. Like it just, it makes the other side much easier to deal with and keep following through with what you're doing. But if you don't cut your, cut your hole nicely around it, like if you're working around a shark fin antenna and you're leaving it on the car and working around it, it's difficult to do first of all. But second of all, if you don't cut around that nicely, you're gonna kinda mess yourself up a lot once you get to the other side. All right. So, let's finish off the bottom and then trim it off. Once I do that, you can squeegee you like a madman. So now, the fun part. I want to cut a nice straight line across this tape because this piece is going inside the car. All right. So I'm gonna leave my, I'm gonna cut like, I don't know, what am I, leave an inch and a half or so, two inches. This way I don't even have to use nice tape. Everything will tie in really nicely on the inside and we're ready to rock. Let's then open up the door and do all in there. Okay, so let's do it from about here. So all I'm doing is watching my distance. I put, I put like triple layer tape down here, just so you know, on the doors. I'm watching my distance between this gap and where my blade is. If I'm off by like a millimeter, it won't really matter. It won't be noticeable. You wanna just keep it consistent. Wrapping in this far in is kind of like a bonus for the uh, owner of the car, because if it was black, you wouldn't have to go that far. But I mean, you can, sell, you can see the cut is very much straight.
before I open the door, I will have to um, lift it off of the tape, right? You can't, it's still stuck to the tape a little bit, so it's gonna make it difficult. Let's do all this fun stuff now. It's all knifeless tape stuff coming up. tape again. And from here out. There we go. Get rid of some of that. I'd show you guys this part. So this part, once I get around around here, this bend, I have knifeless tape inside the car. So all that matters is that I left enough vinyl to cover the knifeless tape. So I'm going to leave myself a bit there. And I'm going to bring cut some of this off because it's going to be hard to open the door with it sitting on the tape. Sorry, with it sitting on the door and not the tape. And we're about ready to open the door. I have to trim some of this away. Actually, I don't have to. I should have. So one thing I should have done is mask off the window trim. If I masked off the window trim, then it would have been much easier for me to open the door right now. So now, right now I'm going to open the front door first to make my life easier. Oh, and I have to get it off the bottom. So I almost forgot, right? a little bit more to think about when we're doing this and you might be asking yourself like can I try to tuck this in now on the bottom it's just gonna be don't try to do that it's gonna be really difficult open your door it's gonna be much easier okay the vinyl stretchable so don't worry about pulling it back a little bit now I've got to keep this up what's holding me back the tape Love it, there's the tape. I tested it and it wasn't sticking and now it's sticking. So let's cut them, let's cut it. There. See how much more difficult it is to open when there's no tape. See, if there's tape on there, it'd be sliding off. totally fine though. Don't worry yourself too much. Okay, that door. This door is going to be a bit more challenging because obviously it's wrapped all here and it's wrapped all here. So let's get it off here anyways. The hardest part is like this corner right here is going to be a bit tricky. I could have opened the doors. It, it just makes the bottom so much more difficult when the doors are open I find. So Anyways, this is how I do it. You don't have to do it my way. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to fold this up and try and keep it out of the way. Aha, huh, smarter than I thought. So right here is the challenge. This section. Pulled back a little bit. I'm just putting it back slightly. Just 
balance it out. Flopping around. Perfect, worked out really nice. All right. So what I'm gonna do first is get this window tucked in, which is actually not that hard at all. Just making sure that I'm leaving enough, obviously. The seals on the Audis are exceptionally um, flexible, to say, which is a bonus. Now I got, what I got to do is tuck it in. My favorite tool, one of my favorite tools, triangle. See, wrapping a quarter panel is not a quick process, all right guys? Talking while doing this video, it might be slowing me down a little bit, but it's not slowing me down that much, right? So as soon as I get it going, that's where we gotta be. Perfect. So right now I'm tucking in, I'm tucking in quite a bit actually. Didn't need to leave that much. Some cars, this seal is like the worst thing. So, but again, taking the Audi apart was not all that easy either. As I get down here, I'm going to cut a little bit closer. Just going to find the edge and cut a little bit closer to that edge. It's going to make my life easier when it gets when I get to the bend. Trying to grab it. There we go. Perfect. Carefully, you don't slip here because you could slide out with your tool and then scratch the wrap. I don't want that. So I'll just change my body position. It helps, it helps me. And then I'm going to kind of start rolling the tool around as opposed to sliding it. So you can see that's fairly easy to tuck in. Now, a little trick here is that I left a little bit extra. I kind of cut this on an L right here. This way I could wrap up a little bit higher into the door jam uh, and cover this, this tiny little gap up here because I know that when I close the door, it's visible. That's, that's all. So we're going to try it. We have to lay in to the recess. Can't stretch into the recess. We do have to stretch the vinyl a little bit, don't get me wrong. But we just have to lay into it. If we, 
don't lay into this recess, your, jet, your door jam will fail. Plus, even when you're doing this, we're going to go in here, we're going to post seat it. See, I would rather lay in, create an entire mess with wrinkles, and then work all the wrinkles out afterwards. That's just, that's just me. As long as you know how to troubleshoot, you'll be fine. So we're getting coverage. I know it's gonna be a little bit difficult for you guys to see. It's awesome is that the GoPro is only a day away. So you'll be able to see all this. I got some I got some pretty cool ideas with the GoPro. So we should have a lot of fun with that. And so I'm just working in a violin. Using your fingers a little bit easier. So I'm over where my knifeless tape is. And I'm going to tear that in a moment after I post heat it. We're gonna do the top and I gotta finish off the bottom here. So. See this part's super fun because it's so tight here. It doesn't even wanna let me get the vinyl underneath. There we go. Good times. I'm trying to do it without bridging the gap, right? We're just, I'm just being more gentle here. This way I don't change the shape of the vinyl because I, I want it to remain straight when they open their door. I want, I want a nice straight clean line. So that's, that's important. As far as how high the line goes, that's more up to your discretion, but make sure the line is straight. All right, let me just finish off this little bit down here. That's hard to reach. bit right here. This one shouldn't be so hard to do. Close the door just yet. So the top. 
top is time for the wrap glove. I don't need to add a lot of heat at all, if any. Um, it's not going to need it. I'm just laying in, right? Time is it's almost eight o'clock. This wrap glove it glides really nice. I feel like I have shield guard on my fingers. Supposedly, it feels weird. It feels, supposedly, it uh, doesn't scratch or anything. We're going to do a test on gloss black, though. And that's the true test. So keep in mind, this should be a very tension-free area. And we're good. Let's knifeless this baby. vinyl up here to trim out. Let's do that. Just on the rubber seal. That goes around the little quarter window. Get it kind of tucked in and up under there. Let's get it tucked in under this trim piece also. Boom. It's the top one, guys. i uh, start on that side because I have better access to the string. Let's go all the way down here. There we go. Always go over the edge a little bit, make sure it's tight. Perfect. Let's do the roof. So I can close the doors now. It's awesome. Let's do the roof. I still haven't laid into the little recess yet, so let's do that. is like it's constantly making weird noises I'm not sure why cool so the roof is good good to go let's do this piece Here, so I can open the trunk. Still haven't finished off 
this little section here, which I'm going to finish off when I open the trunk. Now I have this lovely little section here. Let's let's use it nicely. So when it comes to this area, it's all about how you're stretching the vinyl. So I'm trying to stretch it around the corner. So it hugs the corner. Good. So this is kind of a long quarter panel wrap, but if you think about it, I also wrap the lower rocker panel at the same time. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm, I, I alleviated the tension off of the other side so that I could tuck in further. So I, left, I lifted it off the tape. Now, if you really need to go in a little bit further, you can use, uh, use this tool, grab stick flex. It'll get you in as deep as it goes. So you can see the vinyl actually curling up a little bit more. You just can't really drag it too much because it'll cut through. So, blade on the other side of the panel. And you guys will start getting closer to these as soon as I get the GoPro going. Pretty stoked. This little splash guard thing here. It's a fun little thing. We can actually cut on that. And let's tuck in. Lazy to put the wrap glove with the wrap glove on, Amos. I'm usually too lazy to put the wrap glove on. What are we doing for time? About an hour. Oh, we gotta tuck in a little bit better here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm usually too lazy to put the wrap glove on. to roll around a lot or just around a little bit. Super easy. Once you get about a quarter inch in there, you're just gonna take your blade and run on the back side. There's usually nothing but the carpet or the plastic guard that's inside there to get in your way which does pose kind of a threat sometimes that it's just kind of in your way. But I mean, this is pretty much it as far as this goes. There's more so showing you how to do the um, lower rocker panel all at the same time, right? All right, so we ended again. Uh, yes, uh, so you kind of have to do it in one piece because you don't want to put a seam and I'm like I said, I'm not a man of doing seams in places that don't make any sense. So we don't have to actually put a seam there. So why would we? You can do it in one piece. Challenge yourself. If you don't challenge yourself and you try to do that bottom section in two pieces, I mean, I mean it also depends on your budget too, but if you're looking at learning, 
you're going to have to do that in one piece because two pieces it's not doesn't fly in the industry but when it's your own car it's totally different if you're learning on your own car I get it pull up some of this tape so you can kind of see I'm going to do the doors um, right after I'll probably just do a video on the front one I know you're looking at that bottom piece. But that's it, guys. Anyways, uh, I'm just kind of in my own head right now, just trying to finish this up. So, again, if you're looking to do the quarter panel, that was about an hour. So, I got the quarter panel done uh, and, the, and the lower rocker panel done in that hour's worth of time. Not that big of a deal um, you know doing it all in one piece I showed you how to do it now if you had a car that had framed windows that were painted so like for example these are framed windows but sometimes like on a Mitsubishi Lancer this section would be paint matched that's a different story you're gonna have to actually cut back into your roll again probably and get more vinyl out that way because to be able to do the whole lower rocker panel and the pillar with that piece is gonna be nearly impossible Again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see some more videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, I've got a whole array of new videos on, its way, on their way. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Take care.